It's Tuesday, December 23rd, 2014. I'm Justin Hunt. This is the DX Daily Year End Edition. Now joining us today, we have DX Features Editor, Andre Grant. Good to see you, sir. Thanks for having me. Word up. Now today we're rolling out, we rolled out a fresh new round of Year End Awards. Production of the Year, Underrated Artist of the Year, and Comeback Artist of the Year. Up first, Underrated Artist of the Year. Congratulations to our runners-up, Lecrae and Cormega, and to 2014 Hip Hop DX Underrated Artist of the Year, Rhapsody. Dre, this is the second year in a row that Rhapsody has snagged Underrated Artist of the Year. Is an artist really underrated if they've snagged Underrated Artist of the Year two years in a row? Um, I can't say that they are, you know, I mean, she's not underrated to us, but unfortunately she's underrated to a lot of people. Um, whether it be the fact that she is a very lyrical rapper in an age where people are kind of turning up, or it's the fact that she uh, kind of only raps over certain kinds of beats or whatever. For some reason, her projects haven't gained the kind of traction that they should have, but if there's anyone who can do what she's doing right now and make it popular is Rhapsody. I thought it was really interesting early in the year with one of the more nuanced storylines was about Rhapsody not making the freshman list earlier in the year. I think some of that might have played into the way the vote shook out in selecting Rhapsody as underrated artist of the year. Definitely, in the back of your mind, you have to think about it. Like, if she didn't make the freshman list, well, then she's got to be underrated, right? Right, uh, and the cosign goes a long way. Now, moving on to Lecrae. Lecrae's anonymously had an incredible first week. I think he's largely still looked at as a Christian rapper. What do you think of his 2014? I think he transcended um, that moniker this year. I think that, you know, we're no longer at an age where a Christian rapper is kind of half gospel, half rap. Um, he is a full-on rapper, and what he raps about is both catchy and relatable, as well as spiritual, and I think that that's something that's going to be continued into the future. He snagged the gospel Grammy earlier this year, and I thought that was interesting. They put an MC in the gospel category rather than the hip-hop category. Do you expect that to be the same going forward in his career? I don't. Um, with his success this year, as well as Derek Miner's, um, I don't think that's going to continue. I think he's going to be up against rappers next year. Now, we have a lot of fans on site, but also on staff of Cormega's mega philosophy this year. I think he had a wonderful, well-rounded album. How would you describe his 2014? I would say that he had a great 2014. I think, I think that Mega really just made an album that he himself wanted to listen to. And um, it turns out a lot of other people did too. Um, everything that he, from his flow to his beats, they were all very, very, very Mega. And we were all down for it. Yeah. Were you surprised that he snagged runner -up, or one of the runner-up spots this year? I am not, actually. I think that um, this year, out of any year in 2014, um, Someone like Mega, who's both legacy and very relevant right now, has a snag runner up. Word up. Those are Hip Hop DX's 2014 selections for underrated artists of the year. If you disagree with us, let us know in the comments section. Next, the award for production of the year. Now, this is essentially the best beat of the year. Congratulations to our runners up. Sunny Digital and Metro Boomin for producing Tuesday, and DJ Mustard and Kanye West for producing Sanctified. And congratulations to the 2014 Production of the Year, Move That Dope, produced by Mike Will Made It. It's been a big year for Mike Will Made It. We touched on this 2014 yesterday, Dre. What do you think about Move That Dope? Is there a song that excites you more when it comes on in the club? Absolutely not. I mean, I've, I've, I've spilled more than my fair share of drinks on people. Bump into that song. And I think that, you know, it's. It's just important to recognize that Michael Made is in his prime right now, and it's everything that he makes is incredible, and just enjoy it. Y'all been moving that day. Now, I tell you, man, you're right, man. You spill a lot of drinks all over a lot of kicks. You know, yeah. <laughs> just what off can that I say? beat. Now, Sunday Digital's and Metro Boomin's Tuesday was inescapable this year, but to me, Sanctified felt like a sleeper choice. It was produced by Kanye West and DJ Mustard. It was on Mastermind, Rick Ross's album that came out at the top of the year that kind of seemed to come and go faster than I think most expected. What do you think about Sanctified? Were you surprised that it ended up being a runner-up? Um, no, not at all. I think Sanctified um, ended up being sort of a crazy Kanye, DJ Mustard hybrid um, that ended up taking a lot of people by surprise. I mean, even Mustard himself said that after whatever Kanye did to it, he didn't recognize it afterwards for a while. And um, you can tell because it was just a twist on whatever Mustard does, and I think that made it incredible. Yeah, I mean, that album itself, Mastermind, I think was more interesting than it sold or, or in the way it resonated, Sanctify was definitely a standout track on that Absolutely. one. Absolutely. Absolutely. Big congratulations again. Sunny Digital, Metro Boomin, Tuesday, Kanye West, DJ Mustard, Sanctified, and to the 2014 Hip Hop DX Production of the Year, Move That Dope, produced by Mike Will Made It. Let us know what you think in the comments section. Feel free to disagree with us. Wrapping up, Comeback of the Year. 
Big congratulations to DJ Quick and Dilated Peoples, who both snagged runner-up for Comeback of the Year. And to 2014 Hip Hop DX Comeback of the Year award winner, G-Unit. G-Unit, G-Unit, G-Unit. I feel like the first half of the year was G-Unit, 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 and somehow, some way. Right. Now, in your opinion, was this award more so based on the music or the fact that G-Unit reunited? Well, I mean, I gotta give a lot of credit to the reunited thing. I mean, 50 Cent had a lot of backstory this year. There was a lot of things happening with him. And to see him come together back with his old crew, G-Unit, at Summer Jam, the way that whole thing went down. I mean, yes, it was San's game, but however, it was just incredible to see G-Unit has a mythology around them that I think you can't escape. And who else would have a chain snatching happen while they're performing at Summer Jam? And it's perfectly okay. <laughs> it's perfectly okay. Right. Now, with Dilated Peoples and DJ Quick, in your opinion, what stood out about their 2014? Dilated Peoples haven't, hasn't dropped an album um, since 2006. The iPhone wasn't out. Think about that. And uh, to come back and make such an incredible record after all that time is just something that you just didn't expect anyone to be able to do and I think hip hop is finally starting to really recognize their legacy artists for the value that they really have. Yeah. And for, in terms of uh, Midnight Life and DJ Quick, I think DJ Quick had an incredible year this year. Um, Midnight Life was lucid and spry and it felt young and it was analog. And it was just everything that he wanted to do on a record and you could tell and it was incredible for that reason. Yeah, I agree, man. I, I never thought analog would make a comeback in 2014. But 2014 ended up being the year of the analog in a crazy way. In a weird way, right? I mean, Wu-Tang took a similar approach with A Better Tomorrow. Absolutely. For better and worse in this regard. That's it. Who'd you vote for for a comeback of the year? Uh, my comeback of the year was DJ Quick. I thought uh, this year was just his year and he um, did and said a lot of interesting things this year. And I'm looking forward to his next year as well. Yeah, I actually voted for DJ Quick and G-Unit as well this year. I, I voted for Court Mega too for, for comeback of the year. I thought that was a big surprise to me that. Yeah, I think, I think uh, Mega's always had his, his particular lane and I think that this year he just bodied it. Yeah, definitely. Andre, as always, we appreciate it. Big congratulations to Dilated Peoples and DJ Quick, runner-up comeback artist of the year, and to G-Unit taking home the 2014 Hip Hop DX Award for comeback of the year. Kick it back with us tomorrow. We'll be rolling out a fresh new round of awards for 2014. As always, for more music and news, visit hiphopdx.com.